My name is Abdurrahman. I'm a lecturer at a public university in Kenya. I deliver lectures in computing and informatics. In our last lesson, we discussed about bitwise operators and under bitwise operators, we discuss six bitwise operators. We discuss the bitwise AND, the bitwise OR, the exclusive OR, the shift left, the shift right, and the complement. Today, we are coming up to the last of our question. What are, ban what are the binary operators? And we are going to start up with the assignment operators. And assignment operators, basically, also there are six of them. Let's start with the first one. Let's start with the first one and see what happens. So the first one under assignment operators, we have what you call an assignment itself. So the assignment itself, the symbol is the equal sign, and this will assign a particular value to a particular variable. So this is the assignment sign, the equal sign. Number two, we have the add and the assign. The add and the assign, the symbol is written as add and assign. So we'll have the add and assign. The third one, we have the subtract and the assign. It will be written as these two symbols, and this will be the subtract plus assign. The fourth one we have, it is the multiply and the assign. So the symbol for multiplication, it is an asterisk, an equal sign. So this will be the multiple plus the assign. And the fifth one, it is the divide and assign. So we have a backslash. And this will be the divide plus the assign. And the sixth one, which is the last one, will have the modulus and the assign. So here we'll have up the modulus and the assign. So basically, how do you use this particular one? Let's take for example, if I have A equals to 10 and B equals to 20. Now, I can assign in a shortcut manner. So when I say A plus add and assign B, this one actually means what? This one actually means A equals to A plus B. So basically, what will happen it is we are going to assign A to what? A, which is 10, plus B, which is 20. So the value of A now becomes 30. And here, basically, the value of A was what? Was 10. So this is how the assignment operators work. So let's go to dev C++ to see how we can actually implement it. So here already, I have declared two variables of data type integer sign and short. I've given a value of 10 to A and a value of 20 to B. And then I declared some variables for each and every uh, assignment operator. We had start up with the first one. We are saying here we are assigning A to assign to B. So basically what will happen here it is very simple as that. We are assigning A to B. So A, it won't be 10 anymore here. A will give up the result of 20. Now, 
let's go to the second one the second part of it we are saying a plus equals b so the meaning of it a should be uh, should be equivalent to what should be equivalent to a equals to a plus b and uh, a plus b should be equal to what because our a has been assigned 20 plus b which is 20 so our answer you should get up 40 and the second one here basically we are saying what are we saying we are saying a uh, we are saying what uh, what we are saying here we are saying a assignment b a assignment b minus assignment b should be equal to what should be equivalent should be equivalent to what basically will be equivalent to a equals to a minus b but already we know that our a here it is what 40 so here will be 40 minus b which is 20 so our answer basically will be 20. we come up to the multiplication part of it so the multiplication part of it we are saying when we say a multiply assign b what does it mean a multiply assign b it means very simple uh, it means a equals to a multiplied by b so let's see what will happen so our a actually now it is 20 multiplied by b which is 20 it should give us an answer of 400 let's go to the division part of it so when we are saying a a divide by uh, equals to b what do you mean here here we basically mean this we are meaning a equals to a divide by a is equal to a divided by b so that's what it means so what is our a our a it is actually 400 divided by 20 so it will give us the answer 20 now and uh, our last part of it we are saying a a modulus equals to b so this is equivalent to what this is equivalent by saying it is a equals to a modulus b so a modulus b what will it be our a it is 20 modulus b which is 20 so the answer will be zero so basically this is how it can be run and basically we are putting up a print f and we are putting up all uh, our uh, uh, all our variables for assignment we had a, one for assignment one for add and assign one for subtract and assign another one for multiple and assign another one for division and assign another one for modulus and assign so let's run and see what will be the outcome of this particular program yes when we run this particular program we are seeing that the first part of it uh, we are getting up the assignment from 10 we are getting up the answer 20 the add assignment we're getting up 40 uh, the sub uh, assignment we're getting up 20 and the multiple time assignment we're getting up a uh, uh, 400 and the div assignment we're getting up 20 and the last one the mod assignment we are getting up uh, zero so this will make up the end of uh, our question which you are had for the last uh, four sessions what is the binary operator in our next session we are going to answer our last question what are, what are the ternary or ternary operators so thank you very much for watching and remember to subscribe 
for more and new videos in our next lecture.